What's up guys? It's me again. So if you have seen my previous vlog, I shared with you a design of the kitchen and along with that was also a request to design the second floor for two bedrooms and an office area. So that's what we're going to be viewing today. So the owner said that the office area should fit five desktops. Also, I asked the owner if they prefer all five workstations in one area or we can put like an office space in every bedroom and they prefer an entire room as school and office area. And then I also asked if it would be okay to utilize the space under the stairs but again they want the five workstations in one area and that space under the stairs wouldn't accommodate all of those so we're putting all the five workstations in the second floor and then i asked if the height of the ceiling is high enough to consider a loft but looks like it's not and then I asked the age of the kids just so that the design is kid appropriate. So they're ages 4, 6, and 12. And the owner is thinking of maybe having three equally sized bedrooms. One for the parents, one for the kids, and then an area dedicated as an office or school room. So with these in mind, and again, the theme is Scandinavian. Here's the plan that I came up with. So in this picture, you can see the divisions of the rooms. So the blue icon over here at the upper right is where your stairs would be so this is open and this door over here is the door leading to the common bathroom and then you have your corridor and then the first room would be the master's bedroom so it's approximately 11 square meters and then the second bedroom would be the kids room that's 9.64 meters squared approximate and then you have your office over here at the bottom right so that's just around 7.67 square meters actually initially I was thinking of putting the office area in the upper left and then keeping it open but in terms of future proofing it would be hard because as you can see in this layout, if you're going to enclose it to make this into a room, the doors to the other rooms are inside that bedroom. So you'd have to break the wall partitions again. So it's not really ideal. So at least for this layout, you can totally convert the office into a bedroom in the future if you're not going to use it as an office so all right so let's take a tour of the second floor all right so let's discuss each part so this is your obviously your corridor this is the door to the bathroom this is the door to the master's bedroom the door to the kids room and the door to the office so in the corridor we added a floor to ceiling cabinet so this one you can use for seasonal clothes like um, bathing suits for summer um, warm jackets for winter sorry for December when, uh, when it's cold or you can use it for linens for your extra blankets and bed sheets 
four extra pillows and so on or you can also totally use the part of it as um, say for example storage for your luggages or for school bags totally up to you how you want to use this space and then let's go inside the master's bedroom so this is your view from the master's bedroom door we flip the door to open in this direction because there is no wall space on the other side for the switch and then we added your air conditioning here so let's get a little closer so you have a vanity over here you can totally take advantage of the window for lighting or you can use your lamp over here we have a dresser over here for folded clothes we added a TV just in case you like having a TV in your bedroom and then we just added some decor over here for family photos and then on the other side or across this dresser is your bed so for the bed what I used here is a Murphy bed so when you are not using it you can fold it up and you have a sofa so if you have a budget for this kind of bed i would recommend that because it makes your space feel larger but in any case you can totally opt for the usual or the normal bed since the space accommodates or fits a queen size bed and then if you need extra storage you can opt for a platform bed I'll put a link in the description to a previous video that I did where I utilized a platform bed and then for the closet it's actually beside where I virtually am standing right now so you have your closet over here a his and hers you can totally utilize this for your hanging clothes since you have a dresser over here for folded clothes or totally up to you then we just kept the lighting and ventilation simple and that's it for the master's bedroom so let's go ahead to the kids room so the kids room since it's quite small our wardrobes are also floor to ceiling wardrobes it's divided into three for the three kids let me show you in another angle so since it's hard to view it in a roaming perspective uh, i'm gonna show you the room like this so this is the door and then you have three closets over here one for each of the kids and then the larger one of course obviously is for the eldest which is 12 and then for the bed much as i hate using bunk beds that can fit two underneath because personally i think it's hard to get out of bed on one side only but since they're kids i think it's okay for now so in this bunk bed you have you can fit two at the bottom bunk so that would be for the younger uh, siblings the ages four and six and then the top bunk would be for the eldest one since he's old enough and i guess he would be more careful in 
uh, climbing up so it's less dangerous for him and then yeah we kept it simple and if you need more storage you can use this space underneath and that's it for the kids room so let's go to the office So as you enter, you have some plants over here to improve the air quality of the room. Then we also have our ever reliable ceiling lights and fan. And then the setup is on two corners. Let me show you in top view. So the upper right and lower left corners are corner tables. So this is dedicated or meant for the parents. And then over to the bottom right are two desks for two of the kids. And then over here as you enter the door is also another desk for the third uh, child. So that's the layout and let's see the 3D. So as you can see, we were able to fit the five desktops and then you have ample space underneath for file cabinets or if you're even using CPU still for your desktops, you have ample space for those and then over here to this corner is the mom's desk so you have space for displaying uh, some decor or your books and then we just added some desk lamps that's, uh, that could be shared between the two um, persons sitting together then we just added here some board where you can write something if you want to explain the old-fashioned way instead of just using a paper or you can put a note over here uh, you can put your to-do list or reminders over here and then And then on the other corner, you have the desk for the dad. You have a wall clock and a calendar over here. So pretty much the same setup as the mom desk. So the shelf is short, but you can totally opt, opt for a built-in that's also floor to ceiling if you have lots of office stuff you have to store or books so it also serves as your library and if you noticed our switches are actually low so it's kids friendly as well and that's it you guys i hope you picked up a thing or two from our second floor design and let us know in the comment section what you think of the space what you think of our design let us know of any suggestions that would greatly help our client as well and thanks again for your time i'll see you in the next vlog bye for now